Good evening, folks. Welcome to the late edition of Boxing Rampage. Come on, man. I'm your host, <laughs> JC, accompanied by Flacco right here. Come on, man. You this is the smooth <laughs> episode because it's nighttime. <laughs> We're doing this. Yeah. No, um, so this is episode 26. Uh, we're going to discuss three main fights coming up this weekend, May 20th. Uh, first one I want to discuss, obviously, is, is going to be the, uh, looking at my notes here, uh, Raymond Beltran versus uh, Jonathan Maicelo, along with the separate videos will be the Gary Russell Jr. versus Oscar Escandon, and obviously the fight which has been highly publicized, uh, Javanta Tank Davis versus, uh, I forget his name, man. Uh, with, uh, Liam, well, Liam Walsh, Liam Neeson, Liam Smith, all the Liams just came in my head at the same time. But uh, let's start discussing, obviously, Raymond Beltran versus uh, uh, Jonathan Maicelo. Um, any thoughts on the fight? This is a real um, interesting fight. Why? Because um, Beltran been looking looking really impressive lately. Uh, the guy have I don't know I don't know you know <laughs> the guy the guy been uh, uh, he tested positive for PD before and now in, in the edge of his career recently he have looked impressive completely impressive. So I don't know um, uh, his opponent was his name I forgot uh, Jonathan Marcelo Marcelo Peruvian guy a lot of power. He got he he's, he he reminds me of a little bit of um, a Matisse. I'll say he's a lot really powerful. He, he set up the, he got a good jab, decent fighter. But um, I think by trying a more experienced guy. At this point, anything can happen. Um, is this is this uh, fight set, uh, bottom testing? No, maybe. Um, not to my knowledge, is brought up. But if this fight is not tested, I'm gonna go with Raimundo. <laughs> Cause this guy, man, lately he we've been looking really good. Um, honestly, uh, yeah, it's a little suspect. Just to say it. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't want people to, to to throw like rocks at me and stuff like you know hating and this and this and that. But honestly, the guy, you know, he he, he fought Terry Crawford. The only fight that I give him uh, Ricky Burns fight. He did won that fight. He got robbed. And you know he went in the UK and again got robbed. You know hometown cooking basically. But um, I got Sarah Crawford against um, uh, probably his, his past opponents. He hasn't looked that good, but lately his uh, his last opponent was who? Uh, for even the Beltran. Yeah. Um, this wasn't too long ago. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago. But Raimundo, uh, we all know him. He, he should be Pacquiao uh, sparring uh, partner. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the guy out of nowhere. Mason Maynard. We even discussed yeah. this fight in the past. So. Yeah, it's just right now I can't. I can't move yeah. properly. You know, we was we was uh, eating some food right now. I'm kind of late. Cheers. Time. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I thought Mason Maynard was gonna give him give him a fight, man. I, I thought, but it was uh, one sided, man. This guy just destroyed him and walked through him and basically this could happen as well the only thing is that um this Peruvian kid could, could, could punch he, he got yeah. he got the eraser and and uh, Raimundo been knocked out before early in his career I think he got knocked out like in 2001 and uh later on 2008 as well he got uh knocked out but um yeah I mean if I had to put my, my money on it I'll put it on uh I'm uh, Raimundo Beltran, but this fight could go either way, man. Honestly, okay. in my opinion, okay. it, it, it's a real close. So it's a toss up. It, it's a toss up. Well, me personally, I see Beltran winning because uh, if you guys want to, you could check this out. This is why I've been on the phone. I just wanted to bring this up, but I wanted to have a good source of reference before I mentioned it. Um, there's an article on USA Today which states that a uh, boxer headline reads: Boxer Ray Beltran fights for title shot and green card. Apparently, um, obviously, um, he's from Mexico. Apparently, to stay in the United States, especially as an athlete, you need to prove, and as it says here in the article, that you have pretty much the, um, uh, pretty
pretty much you. You're, you're a special fighter. The, the, uh, you're unique in the sense that yeah, you work. You have a, wor a working visa, basically. So you need a. Be performing. Yeah, so so getting an EB-1 green card requires proof of exceptional ability in a particular field, be it sports, music, or arts and science sciences. Uh, Beltran's long career for the one bouts for 18 years supports his case a little as do letters from major boxing networks and sanctioning officials. So pretty much for him to remain relevant and obviously in the United States and he obviously feed his family and everything else, he has to win this fight. So he doesn't fall in jeopardy of, of, of losing the opportunity of having permanent status because I mean obviously he doesn't get things in the permanent status. I, I don't, I'm not necessarily just win the fight, but basically you gotta raise the stock. Basically, even yeah, if you I, lose, you gotta, I, I think the thing is like for instance, uh, like um, I used to be in the music industry back, back in the days. Um, Can't you tell by the hair? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, as far as I know, basically like if you have a out of, out of the country artist coming to the country. They have like they need to have like a, a a tour basically already set up, and they have to have like at least let's say if you're an artist you have to have at least some kind of concert <coughs> or kind of party set up already and dates kind of a tour to to show the the, 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 the agency, council the, the council the whatever agency uh, that give you authorized a visa give approval so basically the same thing with with but then he gotta show that. He he's acted it enough to maintain his visa. That's that's my understanding of. of yeah, here it says a permanent green card. Status. Yeah, so he, he could stay in the country because he got on that status, obviously. Yeah, he got a, a working visa, but yeah, I mean, they, I think what the, the article is just trying to hype the fact that maybe his his visa is coming to like uh, he got to renew it, and in order to renew it, he, he got to show proof that you know he's mm. relevant in the sport. It feels like Kobe right after that race. He's, <laughs> he's dropping any points in his Utah Jazz. Yeah. I've never seen such an impressive. I forgot what game it was, but it kind of did the same thing. It's like they tell him about trying, like, you better win this fight. We're saying, yes, yeah, back to Mexico. He's like, no, I don't want to. He's <laughs> fighting his heart in, in, in boxing, I, I think that you uh, not necessarily got to win, but look impressive. Yeah, look good. It basically, like he said, raise your stock up. But and, and it's going to be an impressive fight, man. Like I said, they just keeps gonna bring it in. But I, you know, he, yeah. So, so he I gotta stay up there. I mean, basically looking at myself, I'm not taking anything away from him. He's very athletic, very good on his feet, moves around really well. Um, and obviously, he's like you said, he has a racer punch. And that's the thing, being he moves around so well, he has different angles. He comes in, comes out, pretty much gives gives you different angles, and basically catches you in an awkward position to to put you out. So he has the racer punch. But I think the deciding factor in this fight is going to be, like you said, pretty much the experience. Experience plays a big role, especially in a veteran fighter. At the very least, he, he'll know when to engage and, and when to disrupt any momentum he builds up in the fight. To, if not, when convincing, at least make it close enough to where, it's, um, to where he can edge a decision at least. Yeah, what, what do you think is uh, you, you got better by this? Yeah, I would say Beltran by decision. Yeah, um, I agree. At the at the very least, I mean, a hard take could go either way, like you said, TKO. But yeah. to play it on the safe side is probably probably a decision, unless you know he has to win by that. But that, that's just me going on because obviously Marcelo is a dangerous fighter. So why engage with someone when you don't have to? If he feels he can win the fight just just off a of boxing ability, just do it like that. And, and really but practice. just put it out there. Marcelo can always catch him yeah. with that eraser and. Yeah, and then the, the fight, so. And the, the kicker punch. So, um, I think that's that as far as this segment. Uh, anything else you want to drop in here before we move to the other two segments? Uh, any any yeah. other fights going on this weekend that you um, notable? So, basically, we already set up like uh, our uh, prediction for the Terrace Car Offer fight. So, look it up on our videos, our previous videos. So, if you haven't catched this, you know, you can go in and... Uh, we're not going to discuss it in this video because we already have our official prediction. So catch it there and um, yeah. Okay, that's good. So uh, that's about it. So <coughs> tune in for the next two videos coming up. Okay? Alright, All see right. you then.